Hey guys, this is John with Heartland. Uh, today we're here to talk about uh, solar. Starting with all 2023 uh, Heartland Travel Trailer models will be solar prepped. Uh, today we want to talk about how we go from solar prep uh, to fully functional solar. Let's look at the items needed to take your solar prepped unit to a fully functional solar. We have two options, Sol 190 and Sol 380. Before we get started with the install, let's talk about what Sol 190 is. Sol 190 is a single 190 watt panel. What it can do for you is it keeps your battery charged, allows you to operate any 12 volt items, items like your awning, your front jack, your stabilizers. Now let's talk about Sol 380, our highest solar tier. Sol 380 is 290 watt panels, an inverter, and a transfer switch. What this allows you to do is operate all of your 12 volt items along with some recepts. So you can make coffee, watch TV, or have outside entertainment. Okay guys, let's get started installing Sol 190. The first thing we wanna do is scan the QR tag. The, what this is gonna do this is going to give us the installation instructions for the battery. The next thing we're going to do is install the positive cable from the charge controller to the battery. Next, we're going to install the negative cable from the charge controller to the battery. Now we're going to move to the inside of the pass-through to set up the charge controller with the instructions that we downloaded. Okay guys, now that we've got the battery hooked up, let's come around to the pass-through and set the charge controller up based off the instructions that we downloaded. Every prepped unit has a 30 amp charge controller standard. What the charge controller does is monitors the battery and allows it to charge based off the information that it receives from the battery. So if the battery is full, then it won't pass the, the power to charge. It'll just keep it, it'll keep it maintenance. Okay, now in order to program the charge controller we're going to push and hold the sun button here. It's going to give us several options. We're going to scroll through until we find the battery that we chose. And in this case, it's a flooded lead acid. Now that we've chose the flooded lead acid battery, we're going to push and hold the sun button again. And that's going to give us our programming. Now that we've got the battery installed, we've programmed our charge controller to the proper battery. Let's uh, start installing our solar panel. And to do that, we're going to remove our, back, our protective backing tape off of our uh, Eternabon on the bottom side of the panel. Now that we're gonna set the panel where we have our backer locations marked. Now you can get your backers based off of the VIN from our parts department, our service department. Now that we've got it set in location, we're just gonna lay the panel down Make sure your cables are out from underneath it and then carefully let the panel sit on its feet. Now that we have the panel set into position, we're going to use inch and a quarter number 10 screws to screw the panel down with. Make sure not to over tighten and strip out your screws. Now that we've got the panel secured to the roof, we're going to use a non-sag self-level in this case to seal the screw heads and the feet. Okay, now that we have the panel secured to the roof, the screws are sealed, the feet are sealed up with the self-level, we're going to plug the solar panel into the roof docking port. But first we're going to install a 15 amp inline fuse. This goes on the positive cable. You'll know the positive cable because there's a red ring. Now that we've plugged the fuse onto the positive cable, we are going to take the cap off of the roof docking port and install that Make sure that you hear the click that knows that you've got a positive connection.
That's it, now your solar panel is connected. Now that we have the panels installed, let's come to the pass-through and install the inverter. In order to do that, we're gonna remove the access panel labeled inverter prep. Once we've removed that panel, we're gonna locate the wires behind. You're gonna have a red and a black and then you're going to have a ground. Once you have those removed, you're going to remove the amp connectors that are secured to the top of the opening. Okay guys, now that we've got our wires out of the opening, we're going to install the inverter or secure it to the wall. I'm going to use a prop, which is just the styrofoam out of the, the package to kind of help hold the inverter into place uh, while I secure it to the wall. We're gonna use four number eight, inch and an eighth screws. And I'm just gonna set this on top of the styrofoam just to hold it in place for me for a minute while I get my stuff ready. Okay, next we're going to connect the battery cables to the inverter. So we're gonna connect the red to the red. The red, we're gonna connect the red cable to the red block for the positive side of the inverter. All right, now that we've got the positive connected, we're gonna go ahead and connect the negative side. We're just gonna follow the same process. Next, we're gonna attach the chassis ground. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna feed that through the back side of here, and it is going to attach on the, to this brass screw. Next, we're going to install the transfer switch, which is the black, box with the three uh, cords on it. We're gonna attach that to the wall just below uh, the inverter. To do that, we're gonna use two number eight uh, one-inch screws. Okay, now that we have the transfer switch secured to the wall, we are going to disconnect the amp connectors. In order to do that, there's two buttons here. You're gonna push on those buttons and then pull that apart. As you can see, one is labeled line and load. So the transfer switch is labeled, connect to AC and then connect to AC source. So the source is gonna to go to the line So we're gonna connect these together, just like so. And then the load is gonna go on the load side. Okay, now that we've got the uh, transfer switch connected, we wanna go ahead and put all the wires back in the opening um, as best as we can. And then try to secure those. Okay, now that we have the transfer switch and the inverter secured, we're gonna go ahead and plug the transfer switch in to the recep on the inverter. All right, now let's move around to the battery and connect the battery. Okay, now that we have the transfer switch and the inverter connected inside the pass-through, we're gonna come around to the front and connect the, the battery. So we wanna connect the inverter cables and the charge controller cables to the battery. In order to do that, we wanna go ahead and connect the negative or the positive cable to the positive side of the battery. And then the positive 
charge controller to the positive side of the battery. Okay, now that we've got the positive cables connected, we want to connect the negative cables. Okay, now that we've got the battery connected, let's go ahead and put the cover on. Okay, I'm going to finish installing covers now that all the connections are made. Now that we've finished installing Soul 380, let's cool off.